Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. So today I'm bringing you three farmhouse boho DIYs. So let's go ahead and get started with DIY number one. So for our first DIY, I'm taking this, um, I don't even know what you want to call this. It's, it's like a, um, well, we're just going to say stick that I got from uh, Hobby Lobby back when we were doing uh, Sierra's wedding. And I am going to use some leftover jute from that as well. And some of this new um, nautical rope that Dollar Tree is carrying, which I love, by the way. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking about eight strands, or actually it's four strands, but when I double it up, it's gonna be eight strands. It's gonna make it eight strands. And I'm just kind of looping these over my board. And you can see here what I'm doing. So basically what I did was I untwisted the rope to make it three separate strands and then I'm just going to use those three strands and do the same thing um, with it as I did with the jeep. Now you definitely want to knot these on the end like I'm doing right here because once you un undo those they will want to fray on the ends. But that's fine because after we knot them and we cut everything even, we're going to um, make sure that there's knots on the bottom and then we're going to kind of brush that out and give it like a tassel end. And I definitely recommend working on a towel, especially with the jute, because that stuff is so messy. This jute is actually from Walmart. Um, I love that jute because it's thicker than the um, regular jute that you get from the Dollar Tree. And you can see my little Winster. He is coming in to see what mom is doing. There's no rhyme or reason for um, me doing my pattern the way I'm doing it. I just, you know, worked with it until I got the look that I was going for. So you feel free to do whatever works for you, whatever pattern you like for yourself. And once we get done with um, all of our strands, we're going to just try to cut those longer pieces off. But save those strands because we are going to use those to make our feather. Right here, I am just taking some hot glue and gluing these because these knots will want to slip off. As you can see, clearly you know that they're just like bunching up and everything. So yes, I'm just going to take a little hot glue, make sure those are held in place really good. And please be careful when you're working on the floor because I had my hot glue gun plugged in on the floor and I totally forgot about it and I went to step and I stepped on the little nozzle and talk about burn the bottom of my foot. Ooh, that hurts so bad. So now I'm just going through and trying to trim up all my ends. Um, 
the best that I can. They're not going to be perfect, so there's no need in trying to get them perfect. You just cut it at the angle you want. I decided to go with maybe like a like an angle look, not straight across, but kind of like at an angle, which you will see in the um, final reveal. Now, I did not um, show you making the show you me. I can't even talk. Show me making the feather on this one because I'm going to show you step by step how to do that on the very last DIY. So y'all stay tuned for that. And here I'm just tying some jute um, on each end to make a little hanger so I can just hang it on the wall. So let's go ahead and get into DIY number two. Um, this is a board that I had boards that I had left over from when I made my um, farmhouse ladder blanket ladder and I had already glued these together they're the one by two furring strips that you can get from the Home Depot Home Depot and or I guess I can say like the Home Depot like my brother does uh, just trying to be funny but then I just drilled some holes in there so I can thread some jute through there and giving it a quick sand just to get any rough edges away So if you haven't guessed yet, we're making a little shelf, a little jute hanging shelf. It's going to be so cute, y'all. I forgot to say that when I glued these together previously, I did stain them with my Minwax Dark Walnut Stain. Um, but I didn't get the edges and um, I did go back after and go ahead and... Uh, stain those and go ahead and just go over the top of it again just to make sure everything was nice and even and I did cut these boards with my miter box and little hand saw and I did glue these together with some E6000 and it held it really really good for me I mean literally they are not going anywhere so here I just made a um, kind of like a knot in the top of the rope for a hanger and I just let the ends hang out and then I'm taking some more jute and wrapping that around that that and then I'm cutting the edge off so here I'm gonna show you how I make my little feather I'm taking this um, bamboo skewer that I got in a pack at Walmart for like 98 cents and I am just going to use leftover jute that I cut off the first DIY and I'm going to show you here how to make this little knot. Now I'm not quite sure I can explain this right. It might be easier just for you to see what I'm doing but I am going to give it my best shot. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your two pieces of jute and you're going to fold them in half where you have like a little loop on each end. You're gonna place one of those loops underneath your skewer, like I'm doing here, and then you're gonna put the other one on top. And then all you're gonna do is just feed those ends through each loop and pull it tight, if that makes any sense at all. And I'm gonna do this a few times here so you can see what I'm doing. And I decided to go, I wanted all my lines to be in the same spot down. So I just went under and over on every one of them. I know it's kind of hard to see if my big man hands in the way, but um, to me it kind of looks like a pretzel uh, when you feed each end into through the loops and then you pull it tight. And do y'all see what I mean? Look at this towel. 
it is literally covered in little jute hairs and a little sawdust and a little of this and a little of that it's a teetotal mess i'm telling you so yes it's best just to try to work on it on a towel and then maybe you can take it outside shake it a little bit but even when you shake it out it still don't come all the way off so i'm probably gonna have to take a comb or some kind of brush or something and kind of brush it maybe to get most of it off before i throw it in the wash So you just keep doing the same thing, the same process over and over and over. And um, I would also push mine together um, as I went because I wanted them, I wanted to make sure that they were really tight and close together. And you can see that I'm skipping around on different parts. That's because some of my jute is smaller and I want to put the smaller pieces towards the bottom where my feather is gonna be cut uh, thinner. Okay, so now that we got all our pieces on, we're gonna go in and we're gonna pull on each strand individually so we can tighten those knots up really, really good around that, that skewer stick. And apparently I lost my footage of me wrapping the end um, at the top of my feather with some jute, um, just to kind of give it like a jute stem. And you definitely want to um, glue um, the very ends um, at the bottom of your feather just so those do not slip off the end. So here I'm just taking my teasing comb and I am going to brush out the ends of the jute um, just to kind of give it more of that um, feathered um, fuzzy look and um, this is gonna create quite the mess I'm telling you I had to cl keep cleaning my comb out and you should have seen the pile of fuzz that I had from this stuff thankfully you can't see it right here because I finally learned how to zoom in on my videos thank the Lord that is the best thing ever so here I'm just gonna kind of give a basic shape of my feather and then I'm gonna comb it again and here's Winster again and um, yeah just keep trimming and combing until you get the look that you desire and it's just I love it I really want to get like some of those extra long bamboo skewers and make like a huge one that will take a little time, but I'm, I'm, I'm all for it.
and here we are here is the final reveal on all three of my boho farmhouse diys i really hope that y'all love these as much as i do i made these specifically for my craft room slash office and i've got them hung up right over my cube shelf that holds my tv and everything and i just love them so much i really hope y'all love them as much as i do thank you so so much for stopping by and taking your time to watch my video i truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart i hope y'all have a great weekend and I will see y'all in my next video. Have a great one. Bye.